recipient unknown. This is really her last year of her life. She writes this letter. I don't know how they found it. I manuscript um, Amherst College pencil, but this dear friend, I thank you with wonder. Should should you ask me my comprehension of a starlit night? All were my only reply, and so of the mighty book. It stills, incites, infatuates, blesses, and blames in one. Like human affection, we dare not touch it, yet flee. What else remains? But excuse me, I know but little. Please tell me how it might seem to you. How vast is the chastisement of beauty given us by our maker. A word is inundation when it comes from the sea. Peter took the marine walk at the great risk. E. Dickinson. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wow. are the uh, more completely visionary uh, opening and cl uh, it, it, in with an envelope. I mean, the, the idea, the way she uses envelopes is not the way Ralph Franklin uses envelopes, <laughs> to say the least. But anyway, uh, that's, I think that's about enough of it. <laughs> But they're tiny. I mean, seriously, really. Um, do you want me to? I mean, three or four little poems? Yeah. Um, okay, this is my one favorite of all time. This is the poem. I really love this poem. There's a certain slant of light. No, I'm not sure. There's a certain slant of light winter afternoons that oppresses like the heft of cathedral tunes. Heavenly hurt it gives us. We can find no scar, but internal difference where the meanings are. None may teach it any. Tis the seal despair, an imperial affliction sent us of the air. When it comes, the landscape listens Shadows hold their breath. When it goes, it is like the distance on the look of death. Leave me. Winters in Connecticut. <laughs> <laughs> There's a certain slant of light. That's a perfect one. But that, okay, the word heft is so incredible, like the heft. And so um, here's. Um, She uses it in another poem, but I, I all come upon I don't know the one. Um, oh yeah, here it is. Um, the brain is wider than the sky, for put them side by side, the one the other will contain with ease, and you, the side. The brain is deeper than the sea, for hold them blue to blue, the one the others will absorb as sponges buckets do. The brain is just the weight of God, for heft them pound for pound, and they will differ if they do, as syllable from sound. My God, I have syllable from sound. Perfect. Um, these are rather grim. These are grim ones. I like grim. I'm into mean, grim. Of consciousness, her awful mate, the soul cannot be rid. As easy the secreting her behind the eyes of God. The deepest hid is sighted first, and scant to him the crowd. What triple lenses burn upon the escapade from God? God, as triple <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, here's a, another good landscape one. Four trees upon a solitary acre, without design or order or apparent action, maintain. 
The sun, upon a morning, meets them. The wind, no nearer neighbor have they, but God. The acre gives them place. They, him, attention of passerby, of shadow, or of squirrel, haply, or boy. What deed is theirs unto the general nature? What plan? They severally retard or further unknown. Here's another. To pile like thunder to its close, then crumble grand away, while everything created hid, this would be poetry or love. The two coeval come. We both and neither prove, experience either and consume, for none see God and live. Um, uh, God is in a lot of these, I'm realizing. Um, okay, title divine is mine, well, the wife without the sign, acute degree conferred on me, empress of Calvary, royal all but the crown betrothed without the swoon. God sends us women when you hold garnet to garnet, gold to gold, born, bridled, shrouded in a day. My husband, women say, stroking the melody, is this the way? And then I'll close with the great Because I could not stop for death, he kindly stopped for me. The carriage held but just ourselves and immortality. We slowly drove. He knew no haste, and I had put away my labor and my leisure, too, for his civility. We passed the school where children strove at recess in the rain. We passed the fields of gazing grain. We passed the setting sun, or rather, he passed us. The dews drew quivering and chill, for only gossamer, my gown, my tippet, only two. We paused before a house that seemed a swelling of the ground. The roof was scarcely visible, the cornice in the ground. Since then, Tis centuries, and yet feels shorter than the day I first surmised the horses' heads were toward eternity. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs>